Hey guys, it's Val here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my New Year's kind of resolutions slash my one year on YouTube and I'm really really excited because in just one year I went from zero subscribers to literally almost 400 and I can like I cannot believe that because I don't really find myself like you know that entertaining or anything like that but I do it because I like having a connection with people and interacting with you guys. I love when you guys leave comments because, I don't know, it's just it's the highlight of you know, YouTube. You know, you get to meet new people and things like that. So, that's that. I don't really want to get into it and get emotional and then I start crying. And we don't need this. You guys mean the world to me and you guys were the only great things to come out of 2014. This has been a rough year for me and... I'm just looking forward to the new year because I'm just not ready for a fresh start, you know, but I am looking forward to just moving on with my life and leaving everything in the past behind, not looking back. We don't need to do this. We need to just, you know, move forward. And with that being said, let's get into my resolution, but quick and simple. And then I'm going to tell you my life lessons of this year. What I'd like to say about the first New Year's resolutions, it has to do with YouTube. Since my growth on YouTube, I mean, it didn't change too much, but it's changed to the point where I know they subscribe to me and, you know, they kind of like certain aspects of the videos that I do. So I decided, and I've been working on this for a while, so I was waiting for 2015 to, like, get this started. Everything is going to change on this channel. It's no longer just going to be based on, like, fashion or just random things. It's still going to be the same, but I want to set schedules so that way it's easier for me to connect with you guys. Not just have people watching my fashion videos and not really getting into my story videos. You know, I want to work with you guys and I want to know what you would like to see more of. I don't do beauty because I don't know any really thing about makeup. I'd like to do fashion, so this is what I'm going to do. Mondays will be my fashion videos, anything like hauls, outfit of the days, anything like that will be on Mondays. Wednesdays will be my story time, and I feel like I owe you guys, you know, to get to know me a little more than my about me kind of tags, and I have a lot of stories that I can sit down and tell you that are personal, but I would like to tell you because maybe you guys are going through it or you've been through it and you can. Fridays will be my miscellaneous, it could be my acting videos, my random little mini videos, and etc, cetera, etc, cetera. and that's just my, just my random day. And the weekends I could put up a random video, whatever I'm feeling like, I'll if you see an extra video, you guys will know. I was just feeling it. But on my YouTube resolution, I just want to keep you guys entertained and you guys happy. It's all about you guys at the end of the day, even though I love doing this. I love sitting in front of the camera and just talking to you and associating with you. That's something that I obviously want to do in life. So it helps me um, grow as a person. For personal resolutions, um, I want to start... Tomorrow I want to go to the store and buy a cardboard and I want to write everything that I have planned for this year so that way I can vision, like, it's going to be my vision board and I can visualize it every day when I wake up is the first thing I see so that way it's the first thing I get to. I'm not just sitting down and just, what am I going to do today? I'm going to have a vision board and within that vision board it's going to have what I want to achieve each month. And I just think that it's perfect for me because, like I said, it's been like a crappy year and I pretty much went downhill instead of uphill like I said I was. But this year is going to be my kind of year where I focus on me and that's, it might sound kind of selfish to certain people, but I'm the type of person that puts everybody first. So this is going to be the year that I kind of just step back, relax, and not be as much of a counselor to anybody but myself. Which I need. And then, also, my second kind of, like, personal resolution will be pretty much for, like, my friends. I do want to see them more. And I know always busy. And they want to hang out. I'm just kind of like, oh, like, I don't want to do anything. But 
it's also, it's not just that, but it's also texting-wise. I'm not a huge person that's always on my phone. It might seem like that, but I'm not. And, you know, sometimes my friends text me or call me and I don't pick up, but that's because my phone is, like, all the way in, like, over overseas and I'm here. And I just want to, like, show my friends that I do care and, like, you know, text them, like, hey, how are you doing today, instead of them texting me first. I know it kind of gets annoying, but I'm just not a huge texter, and I I just want to show my friends that I do actually care about them. So that's that for resolutions. I really don't have any, like, oh, I want to lose weight or anything like that, because if you guys know me, I've lost 60 pounds within, like, three years, so I'm good. I don't need to lose any more weight. I wish I can grow, but I can't five feet forever so that's that for that and now moving into my lessons learned my lessons learned in 2014 was don't trust anyone um whether it's family or friends or just guys in general don't trust them because they will hurt you regardless blood is nothing at the end of the day and I learned pretty hardcore that family is pretty much not the best thing for you is you have the same last name or the same, you know, cousins or aunts and things like that does not mean that you have to be close or consider each other family. I've lost a lot of family just by cutting them off and it feels great because now that the negativity is gone, I can focus on myself and I don't have to worry about their lives. Then... You know, friend-wise, um, I didn't really lose a lot of friends. I just moved on from a lot of things. But, guys was my huge dilemma of the year. So, obviously, I'm not focused on that anymore. That really did ruin my year. And it's the people who you surround yourself with. It's not necessarily... Like, what they do at the end of the day. It's the things that... How they treat you. Just because you feel a certain way towards them does not mean that they're gonna always be there for you and they feel the same way for you whether it's family friends or guys or whatever the case may be and i learned that huge lesson this year and trust me i told my friends i was like nope nope i turned 22 no guys no guys and they said you know we're not gonna stop you if it's, if it's the right one so i mean I told them to hit me. They don't want to hit me. And I'm like, I kind of need to get hit with this because obviously I have just the worst track record when it comes to guys. But anyways, um, that's it. That's pretty much it. It's pretty low key. I tend to just keep it minimum when it comes to resolutions because I can keep them. But like I said, 2014, I... It went downhill, it started great, and it ended up really, 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 really horrible. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave you guys. Happy 2015. Hope you guys just have the best year of your life. And don't forget, if you have anything you want to achieve this year, you can do it. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. The person that tells you you can't do something... That's the person you need to kick to the curb, left, right, sideways, wherever. Just build your bridge, walk over it, and let it fall behind you so no one can follow you. All that negativity in your life is bringing you down. If you can vision it, like envision it and visualize it and just see it, you, I guarantee you, you can achieve anything you want. So with that being said, see you guys in my next video, which will be probably a birthday haul. So yeah. Bye, guys.